Hello everybody, let's take a look at the Ishin ET526 video transmitter. This VTX looks exactly like the AOMV TX001 video transmitter, so I think it's some sort of a copy of that transmitter, main specs. It has 40 channels, the power level selectable from 25 to 200, 600 milliwatts input voltages, channel selection controlled by PVM input. It's an interesting feature. Uh, onboard microphone, which can be turned on and off. Also, a frequency table. You can pause the video and take a look. This VTX has a cable set with a connectors on the both sides this one uh, 6 pin GST 1.25 millimeter pitch size 6 pin connector plugs into the VTX and this connector is compatible with Ishin 1000 TVL uh, CCD camera also it has power connection from 7 to 28 volts and also a plug for PVM channel selection can be plugged into your receiver. This VTX has SME antenna connector. It is not a RPSME as uh, other Ishin uh, VTXs as far as I know. This is the first Ishin uh, video transmitter with SME connector. Anyway, almost all my antennas have RP SME connector, so I'm going to replace this uh, SME connector into RP SME. I'm going to desolder and solder a new connector later. This VTX has onboard microphone which is under the heat shrink uh, advised to uh, cut a hole in this heat shrink in, in, in order to have better audio and this, this microphone can be turned off or on and this LED indicator uh, shows that uh, if uh, whether this audio is on or off. So let's power this uh, video transmitter on. We have connected battery and we have LEDs on. So the blue LEDs uh, represent band, green LEDs represent channel, red LEDs, three red LEDs uh, show you the power strength. And also it shows the first uh, LED shows if it is powered transmitting on or off. Also on the other side you see uh, LED near the microphone. It shows if whether it is turned on or off. And we have uh, two buttons. Uh, with the help of of them we can control all settings. So the channels are changed by short pressing the lower button, one by one. If you want to change a band, you have to press for two seconds the lower button, one, two, and the band changes. Again, one, two, and the band changes. If you want to <clears throat> turn the microphone off, onboard microphone off, then you have to to press for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you see this LED is off. So the onboard microphone is turned off without audio. If you want to change the power level of this VTX, you have to press for three seconds the upper button so let's press one two three 
So uh, we have turned 200 milliwatts. Let's press again. One, two, three. Now we have 600 milliwatts transmitting power. But if you uh, look, let's focus. If you will uh, look uh, more careful, uh, you will see that the first red LED is a little bit dimmer, not so brightly lit. It means that, and it is uh, named as TX, not 25 milliwatts, but TX. So it is, it shows that transmitter is not on, it is off, so it is not transmitting power. If you want to turn transmitter, you have to double click the upper button. Now it is on. Double click again and you turn transmitter off. Double click, double click. So it's pretty uh, everything uh, what can be said with these buttons. You have to turn this transmitter every time you power it on by double clicking upper upper button and it remembers the power level the band and the channel settings uh, after power on power off power off power on cycle but you have to turn every time double click by double clicking uh, this vtx it is good uh, for racing events when you don't want to interfere with other pilots but you have to get used to it let's let's take a closer look at the pin out first pin is pvm signal you can change channels by controlling this pvm signal uh, power in ground video in ground and dc 5 volt out for a camera uh, like uh, Ishin 1000 TVL CCD camera um, no audio in so only video in uh, because you have an onboard microphone but you can control channel selection by PVM signal by the way let's take a look at, um, at this VTX from the side and you'll notice a heat sink over this metallic shield this uh, heatsink plate, metallic plate, allows uh, better heat dissipation and if you have a better heat dissipation, means better power output. I have connected PWM connector to the servo tester and let's plug our video transmitter and let's look how can we control channels with changing PWM signal let's change servo signal and we see that our channels are changing the first channel second channel Third channel, fourth channel, fifth channel, sixth channel, seventh channel, and eighth channel. I don't know exactly uh, whether it is very useful, but it works. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.